Hi my friends. Let's model the part number 42, Centering Prism, uh, from my collection of 100 parts. The picture with this part is here, and as you can see, it seems to be not complicated, but you will uh, see that there are some complication. This is why it is the number 42 and not uh, 10, say. The drawing is this and uh, we have to respect this definition for the faces of the sloped lines or faces here and uh, also on this face which is this one to have a proper approach for obtaining this uh, all features let's start we start with a uh, uh, draw with this base of 56 and this height of 54 now we have some uh, dimensions real dimensions and we can appreciate how to uh, continue and close okay this point midpoint is here on the same vertical is this if we move a little this two uh, this two lines must be equal this lines also must be equal the angle is 90 okay now dimensions 56 and 54 I already placed 40 is the distance here 8 uh, the channel and 32 the height so we place here 40 8 is here and from the face to the center point is 32 Fully constrained. Finish sketch. F6. Extrude. Extrusion will be symmetrical and uh, the thickness is 6. 6. OK. The first part of modeling the part is this. Now we take a closer look to this uh, f drawing with its dimensions. Let me uh, change a little to be more legible. Yes, now I like it. You see three millimeters here and two millimeters is the f small face here two millimeters and they are the same uh, or you see here yes best this uh, uh, width 
is the same with this width. So we uh, consider this is two millimeters because we have this very dimension in the drawing. Yes. So we can consider here two millimeters as a dimension. Okay, let's create this uh, extrusion of the faces, yes, this, with cut, of course. On this face, we'll create a sketch. On this face, we create a sketch. F7 and a triangle. in a corner with all its sides. This is three millimeters. And now we project both axes X and Z. This is horizontal, but we don't need it now. Uh, we project Z axis and x axis where is x oh i forgot to create a symmetrical extrusion but this is not a problem symmetrical okay and now i come back to the sketch it happens, yes? You see, it was here, uh, the line. Why to place this axis? To apply mirror of all this triangle about this line in order to place the dimension between these two points of two millimeters, yes? And now mirror of both about the vertical line. Fully constrained, finished sketch, and now extrusion. This, we have to select very careful, uh, cut, the other direction all the way okay this is uh, the first problem solved now we have to apply uh, cutting of this edges we can do this by creating an extrusion what are dimensions? You already know. 3 and 2. But you see the section is perpendicular on these edges. We have to create a sketch perpendicular on these edges. Let's try to do this. I create a plane which is perpendicular on this edge and which uh, include this point. Yes, you can see how it is. It is perpendicular on the face because it's perpendicular on its edge. Let's create the sketch. Yes, I project uh, this two edges to use them for that dimension of two millimeters. Yes, so I project this I project also 
this line and this line. Yes. Now we have uh, here the dimension of two millimeters from this edge. Let's project the, this edge as well. Yes. Okay. And now let me show something. I select this, which has, uh, which is the look up, and I select this. Yes, this is for selecting a face in order to uh, view that face in uh, its real dimension. Now I draw a triangle yes with dimension one dimension for the side of the triangle three we know this dimension and we uh, project axis y in order to mirror this triangle about that projected axis. Finish sketch, extrude. What to extrude? This triangle and this triangle. Cut two. And now it's very interesting to this plane, which will be not disturbed, yes? This cut will not disturb the plane. Okay, very nice, very interesting. This plane is not useful anymore. And mirror is to be applied of the last feature about this plane. Okay. F6. Good. Now we take a look here where we have cylinder with a diameter of 12, a height 32, just like this. Okay, the face is this, the circle F7 is 12, finish sketch, extrude, uh, join to this. Okay, you see? I uh, take advantage of the moment and I apply two millimeters, the default value for all these four edges. Okay, you see? Two millimeters at every edge, this radius. Now we have to create this cuts and a hole. The cuts are dimensioned here. A rectangle of 24 by 4 with a distance of 14 and two slots symmetrical at 42, 23, radius 3, and distance 8. Let's create these cuts. We create a sketch in the same XY plane, F7. And now a rectangle of uh, 
24 by 4 with uh, the midpoint on the same vertical with the ce center point and placed at 14. Now a slot center to center. From here 23 diameter of uh, 3 multiplied by 2 because we have a radius not a diameter and a distance of 8 from this center to this center 8 now I project the axis Y and I apply mirror for this slot about this line in order to place the distance between axes of uh, 42. Finish sketch, extrude what we extrude, 1, 2, 3, that line splits the, the areas. Cut, symmetrical, all. Okay. Okay. And now the hole. The hole of six. Hole, this face, this concentricity, and six is already placed here. F6. Material. Material is a steel, say stainless steel, not semi-polished, but still polished all over. This is the part, my friends, and you are invited to model it taking care of uh, all the aspects. Data, supposing you try to make, 105 grams. That's all for the moment. Bye-bye.